Welcome to the tutorial video on how to create a work breakdown structure. Here's an example of a work breakdown structure on the building and construction of a house. For this example, we will be using Matchware MindView WBS software to create this example. To begin creating a WBS in MindView, simply choose File, New, and choose the top down view. The subject or central topic of your WBS should be the name of your project. In this case, we will type House at Avenue Drive. Let's continue by creating our first main level or deliverable in the WBS. In this case, I will choose to create a branch and create that first level. In this case, the first level will be called Foundations. To create an additional level, I can hit that branch icon or simply hit the Enter key on my keyboard. Let's continue by entering that deliverable name. In this case, it will be external construction. I will continue creating the other main deliverable levels by hitting the Enter key on my keyboard. We have now created the five deliverable levels for our WBS. The next stage is to break down the tasks or work packet items that belong to each individual deliverable. Let's begin with the foundations. To create the next level, simply choose the sub-branch icon from the ribbon. Our first sub-branch element will be listed as the interior development and design. To create an additional sub-category, I can choose foundations and hit the sub-branch icon. I will continue to add elements using the same feature set by selecting the main deliverable and choosing the sub-branch icon. Once I have created the main levels and structure for my WBS, it's time to start grouping the tasks into individual sections. For instance, we may want to group bathroom and kitchen under the plumbing section. By left clicking, I can drag those into that corresponding deliverable stage. I can do the same thing with lighting and main outlets under the electrical category. As with most WBS software tools, it becomes imperative to start adding specific information into the WBS. In this case, we'll be doing an estimation of labor hours and material costs for each specific section. To enter this type of material, you could choose to utilize a software solution like Microsoft Excel, but it would benefit more to have all information contained in one program. In this case, we'll utilize the calculation feature inside of Matchware MindView 5. By opening the calculation module, I can select an individual branch and choose to enter some specific information. In this case, I've chosen to include labor hours and materials. To display the specific information, I choose to enter a value on the desired branch. I would determine to enter a numeric value for labor hours as well as for materials. As you can see, that data is then populated on that branch itself. I continue to the exterior section, utilizing the same features and estimating that at 30 hours, continuing with the cost estimation of $2,500. We'll finish this section off with the pool, estimate the labor hours at 50 labor hours and an accumulated cost of $25,000. As you can see, utilizing the calculation module, I've been able to estimate labor hours and material costs for each individual task. There may come a time when you'd like to run totals on these specific pieces of information to group those in the deliverable stage. To do that, you would simply choose to click on the corresponding deliverable, choose the same field out of the calculation module, and simply choose Sum. As you can see, we get a running total of the labor hours and materials for the corresponding task items. To overview that feature again, I simply choose the deliverable, choose the desired name and value. In the field, I select the Sum branch, and I pull that information in to get a running total on each deliverable level. An advantage of using the MindView Work Breakdown Structure software is that we continue these running totals from the tasks to the deliverables and even have the same functionality on the main parent branch or root, which gives me the ability to total the entire map up and give me a global overview of both labor hours and materials for the construction of the house at Avenue Drive. It may also be a requirement to do resource allocation on the different task items in your WBS. 
And again, you can utilize external systems to enter this information. Or in this example, we will continue to use the MindView Work Breakdown Structure software. I simply choose to select an individual task item from the WBS. I go into the task timeline panel, and I navigate down to the resources section of the list. Here I can choose to enter a number of resources, or I can choose to select them out of a corresponding list. I move to the next task that I need to assign, left click on the item, choose to apply that information, and designate the individual resource or multiple resources. I continue with the final task, and as you can see, we have now associated task information. If I'd like to then display the resource name on the individual task items, I can simply highlight the desired task items. I can go under the Format tab in the main interface and choose to visualize and display resources. This adds an additional level of information to my WBS. We've now created a very detailed and descriptive work breakdown structure, listing the individual deliverables, the work packet items, grouped the corresponding tasks into sections, we did an estimation on labor hours and materials, totaled up those values to the parent branches and up to the main route, and we even did resource allocation on the tasks. The next step would be to go through each individual item on the work breakdown structure and start assigning due dates, durations, and start times on the specific task items. To do so, I would simply choose the item from the individual work breakdown structure list. I would choose the task timeline panel on the right side of my screen, and I would then associate a start date for that particular task. I can choose to designate a duration in any metric that I determine, and if our estimation of time is correct, this particular task will take Bill 50 hours to complete. By entering that information into the dialog, you can see that the corresponding end date is automatically calculated. I can continue with Steve's exterior task. By selecting the exterior item, I can choose to change the metric back to hours and choose to update that information based on the estimation, in this case, 30 hours. I will continue to move forward and enter the items, durations, and start dates into the WBS. Once I've finalized entering the information, again, if I'd like to choose to display further project information, I can select desired tasks within the WBS. I can navigate to the Format tab, and I can associate additional task information, such as start time and end time, duration, work, actual work, remaining work, even completion levels. In this case, we will choose start and end time, and I'll also choose to display completion levels. As the users update completion levels within the system, the total and calculations will be updated accordingly. As I communicate with Bill on the interior, he lets me know that he's making progress on completion. I can update completion levels. And if I choose to display completion levels on the deliverable, I will see that I have a nice running total, giving me the ability to summarize information from the individual work packet items. You will also take a ratio based on the corresponding task items, and it will let you know from a stage level how far you are with that deliverable. I could display such information on all deliverable stages and even on the route by highlighting those items, choosing format, and choosing to display completion globally. As you can see, here is a total running of labor hours, materials, and completion for the construction of house at Avenue Drive.